market because in order for the digital forwarding model to be successful you need to go and enter the market on a uh, depth of a specific service to create scale rather than through a breadth of service amongst uh, multiple services at the same time, so being LTL, truckload, warehousing and all that kind of stuff. Could Does it make sense? Yeah, uh, sort of. Could you elaborate on how you did that in a specific context? Let's use the context of warehousing. Yes. So, basically, um, a lot of our competitors are building a one-stop shop for their customers, as I just said. We are focusing on truckload brokerage only. Now, 20 years ago, that was quite a challenging proposition. In the current market, it is a very attractive proposition because our customers now gain scale using the European market as one. The second piece is, a lot of the digital forwarding models are asset-free. Europeans tend to be risk averse and very loyal to their suppliers and they like suppliers to have assets around to secure capacity. Only now with the emergence of the digital models you can see that that mindset is changing and therefore our brokerage model in Europe is more modern as ever before. Well, to a certain extent, uh, our model is actually quite uh, helpful in times where there is disruption and, uh, and market change. Mm -hmm. uh, steady markets don't work well with the brokerage model. The brokerage model adds value in a very volatile market environment. So we accept market circumstances as they change and, and deal with that flexibility. So as such, that is sort of our bread and butter business. Our exposure to the British market is so that if the trade uh, between Britain and the rest of the EU would uh, get a, 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 a downsizing effect, that wouldn't hurt us too much because we are diversified across multiple markets and multiple countries. So as mm -hmm. such, you can call that a natural hedge uh, towards the risks. Having said that, there will still be trade between Britain and the rest of the world. It will be on different footing. We will have short-term disruption in terms of uh, whatever may happen in terms of the trade agreements that are being made. But in the long run, there will still be trade that needs to be managed. Globalization doesn't go away just because of a country changing its uh, uh, trade agreements with, uh, with other countries in the world.